Hey twirlers, thanks for tuning in. Today, I'm going to teach you how to do a reverse flourish. If you don't know how to do a regular flourish, click the link to learn how. Let's start practicing. Begin with the baton in your right hand, thumb to ball, left hand on your hip, and feet in a right tee. Next, bring the baton down into a cradle position. If you aren't sure how to do this, click the link to learn how. To start the twirl, take your arm from down beside your hip and move it to where the big end is pointing out to the right. Next, raise your arm slightly higher up by your head. This is where we will do the loop of the flourish. The directional pattern of the big end of the baton starts with it pointing up, then left, then down, then right, and then back up. Once the loop is completed, move your arm in front of your face and then down across your body back to the starting position. So again, the baton moves outward, stops by your head, loops up, left, down, right, and back up, and then moves back down to the starting position. Last time, it moves up, stops, loops, and then goes back down. Now let's try the reverse flourish in our left hand. Start holding the baton thumb to ball, free hand on your hip, and feet in a left T. Then move the baton down into the cradle position. This time, the baton will go from down beside your hip to where the big end is pointing out to the left. Then move your arm closer to your head and start the loop. The directional pattern for this side is up, right, down, left, and back up. After the loop, move your arm in front of your face and then down across your body back to the starting position. So again, the baton moves outward, stops by your head, loops up, right, down, left, and back up, then moves across your body back to the starting position. Last time, it moves up, stops, loops, and goes back down. Great job, twirlers. You now know how to do a reverse flourish in both hands. Before you take your hands away from your keyboard to start practicing, be sure to leave a comment below and let me know what you think of my tutorial videos. Also, click that like and subscribe button to support my channel and check out some of my other videos so you can keep learning new baton skills. Have fun practicing, and I'll see you on the flip side.